Chancellor Balakrishnan, members of the court and the executive council of the Shivnada University, trustees of the Shivnada Foundation, distinguished guests, the class of 2015, your parents, families, and friends, and members of the SNU community. It is my privilege to present the Vice Chancellor's progress report on this occasion of the first convocation of the Shivnada University. Established by an act of the state of Uttar Pradesh in, in April 2011, the Shivnada University began operations on the 18th of August 2011 with 265 undergraduate students pursuing degrees in five engineering majors and mathematics and a single master's student. As we enter our fifth year, the university has grown considerably in scale and scope since that opening day. And we have made substantial progress towards achieving our goal of creating a comprehensive multidisciplinary research university. Today we have 1,797 students enrolled at the university of which 1,548 are undergraduates, 149 masters, and 100 are doctoral students. These students come from 27 states in the country and are pursuing degrees in 14 undergraduate, 10 masters, and 13 doctoral programs across four schools, the School of Humanities and Social Sciences, the School of Natural Sciences, School of Engineering, and the School of Management and Entrepreneurship. We have recently launched a fifth school, the School of Extended Education and Professional Development, which is focused on extending the reach of the university by offering educational and training programs to individuals, companies, and governmental and non-governmental organizations. The university follows a merit-based admissions process. All students are admitted only through a rigorous merit-based admissions process conducted by the university. We also ensure that all of our students can afford to start and complete a Shivnada University education. Today, over 85% of our undergraduate and postgraduate students receive some form of scholarship or financial aid, and all our doctoral students receive stipends and full tuition fee waivers. Our 186 world-class faculty members have been educated at the best universities of India and the world, including Cambridge, Cornell, Delhi University, Harvard, Houston, the IITs, the Indian Institute of Science, Jadavpur, JNU, MIT, Oxford, Rutgers, and Texas, just to name a few. These accomplished faculty have received recognitions and accolades nationally and internationally, including the Rajiv Gandhi Gold Medal, the Ramalinga Swami Fellowship, the India's Indus Foundation Award for Research Excellence, the INSA Medal for Young Scientists, the Bhaskar Advanced Solar Energy Fellowship Award, the DST Inspire Faculty Award, and the Arya Bhatt Medal, again just to name a few. <clears throat> the university itself has been recognized in its short history as the best avant-garde institution by the Confederation of Indian Industry in 2014, the best university of the year by the PhD Chamber of Commerce and Industry in 2014, and the best emerging global university of the year from Korea 360 magazine in 2013. The Shivnada University is a research university, and over the past four years, our faculty's scholarly and creative contributions have brought to life our mission to be at the forefront of the creation of new knowledge and new forms of creative expression. From 2011 to 2015, SNU faculty published 65 books and chapters, 250 journal articles, delivered 310 conference papers and presentations, set up 65 exhibitions and performances, and undertook 26 active research projects with extramural research funding of 10 crore rupees. The university's faculty and our inter six interdisciplinary research centers are engaged in research on some of the most important issues of our times in areas as diverse as labor law, healthcare policies, the analysis of big data, the management of natural resources, computational finance, 
environmental policy, biological and chemical networks, DNA and bioinformatics, mathematics education, and research on treatments for cancer, malaria, and other drug-resistant diseases. Our soon-to-be-launched path-breaking longitudinal study, mapping urbanization of Gotham Booth District and other community-building initiatives, have firmly anchored us in the local community, allowing the university to gain insights into one of the largest rural urban transformations in the country, even as we ourselves are part of this transformation. We take pride in our 65 state-of-the-art laboratories and studios, and the Shivnada University is the first private university and only the fifth research institution in the country with a high-performance computing cluster with 30 teraflops of peak performance for research requiring advanced computational capabilities. Our commitment to research continues with an internal research investment of about 200 crore rupees to date, an additional 550 crore rupees earmarked over the next three years. Research at the university is not limited to faculty and graduate students. We are now in the second year of our pioneering opportunities for undergraduate research program, which has opened the door for our undergraduate students to conduct original research with faculty. Under the hour program, 44 projects were funded in the first year, and over 70 have been funded in this second year exemplifying the importance of research in the DNA and the fabric of the university. In addition to research, the SNU curricula places emphasis on experiential and applied learning. The university's career development center is creating an ecosystem of sustained external engagement through internships, service learning projects, and an innovative mentorship program through which SNU students are mentored by leaders in industry, government, and civil society organizations. I'd particularly like to mention the university's work-study on-campus jobs program, our flagship initiative to inculcate in our students a sense of responsibility and work ethics, and to prepare them better for the working world. Under this program, students work up to 20 hours per week in various offices and projects at the university. Over 150 jobs have been made available on campus and more than a third of our students have participated in the program so far. We believe India would benefit greatly from significantly internationalizing its higher education institutions. At SNU, we are building global partnerships with some of the best institutions around the world, including Carnegie Mellon University, Duke University, the University of Pennsylvania, Babson College, and Essex University. I'd like to welcome Professor Vijay Kumar Bhagavatullah, Associate Dean of Engineering at Carnegie Mellon University, one of our first partners and one of our staunch supporters. <laughs> Student exchange programs have also, also blossomed at SNU, where our partnerships with Duke University have resulted in the opportunities for, Duke, for our students to study at the Duke Kunshan University in China, in Babson College in the US, and Beijing University's Shanghai campus, while Duke University students have visited the Shivnari University for the past two years. I'm pleased to share that Shivnari University is part of an international collaborative type project titled Enhancing Quality Access and Governance of Undergraduate Education in India. Funded through a 1 million euro grant by the European Union, the project involves collaborative work amongst the Shivnada University, Jadavpur University, Ambedkar University, Hyderabad University, King's College London, Bologna University in Italy, and the British Council. Building top class infrastructure is a vitally important objective for the university. While we understand that infrastructure alone is not a guarantee of academic excellence, we believe that world-class universities require world-class infrastructure. Today, the university's campus has four academic wings, nine student hostels, two dining facilities, 15 sports courts, and two fully equipped gymnasiums. With a campus area of 286 acres and a built-up area of 18 lakh square feet, the university has already invested close to 1,500 crores on infrastructure development. 
Over the next three years, we plan on strengthening our current academic programs through the addition of faculty and students, as well as starting new degree programs, departments, and research programs in our existing schools. We also plan on launching three new schools, a school of law, a school of art design and performing arts, and a school of communication. These latter two already exist as department within the schools of humanities and social sciences. We will continue to expand our infrastructure with the completion of the ongoing construction of an advanced research complex, a faculty residence complex, an indoor sports, indoor sports stadium, and a new academic com complex which will house the School of Humanities and Social Sciences, the School of Management and Entrepreneurship, and the School of Extended Education and Professional Development. The Shivnada Foundation has earmarked 1,550 crores for investment in the university from 2015 to 2018. Beyond 2018, the long-term vision of the university includes a planned investment of 3,000 crore rupees as the university grows to full capacity. Four years of effort, hard work, and investment have launched the Shivnada University on its path to excellence. The very best evidence of this are the achievements of our graduating students, the class of 2015, and the master's students who have graduated in the last four years. It gives me immense pleasure to announce that 31 of our first graduating class have been selected for further studies by the world's leading universities, including Cornell, Columbia, NYU, Dartmouth, RMIT, the Delhi School of Economics, Georgetown University, National University of Singapore, Moscow University, and many others. And 95% of the graduating class have been recruited into organizations as prestigious as Amazon, PwC, Cognizant, Tata's, l and Shapuji Polonji, Dell Computers, and Schneider Electricals. These students, these students are the true standard bearers and representatives of the academic excellence of SNU, and I congratulate them all on their achievements. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, the trustees of the Shivnada Foundation and all of the administrators, faculty, and staff of the Shivnada University view this university as an investment in India's future. It is our collective contribution of financial and human capital to the process of nation building. Thank you for your support of the university and for joining us in celebrating this landmark event.